you can view this as just a dream, somebody else's dream, right? The executive sat around in a room one day and went, hey, wouldn't it be cool if, and now they've taken their dream and they've brought it in here, and now you're supposed to go make their dream come true, okay? And you would be right. It is a dream. All great movements, all great changes started off as dreams. Remember Martin Luther King on the steps, millions of people on TV and present. I have a dream. And it was that speech that drove significant change in the United States. It starts as a dream. Yeah, you would be right. And it will kind of maybe, you know, get you a little bit involved. But you will not adopt it and you will not own it if it's somebody else's dream. You can treat this as, as a death march, right? Grow or die, we've been talking about that. Companies moving forward are being shaken out and they're either gonna survive, who wants to survive, okay, as right aid? They're gonna dive, who wants to dive, just go plumb out of business? I don't think I see any hands up. Who wants to thrive? So it is do or die, because if you don't make these changes and you don't you know, do the things that we've been talking about, you're gonna be out of business at some point, whether it's official or not, right? So it is do or die, you would be right. This is something we have to do if we're gonna survive into the future. But is that what we want? It will motivate you, we gotta do this, oh, we gotta do it. Just, if we don't do this, right? But it will not inspire you. It won't make you excited to get up every morning. You can treat this as your duty, as your chore. <sighs> Executives, everybody said, we gotta do this. It's part of my job description. I gotta follow through on this, okay? You can treat it as a duty. But whoever got excited about my duty, okay? Let me, ch let me challenge you to do something. Go home and buy something really nice for a significant other, and when you give it to them, and they go, oh, oh, you brought me flowers, or that, you know, cologne I was looking for, or whatever, they get all excited, and then they go, thank you, thank you so much, and you go, eh, I'm supposed to do it, it's my duty, <laughs> right? How many brownie points will that get you? None. If you do it as your duty, Ultimately, consciously or subconsciously, you will resent and resist. You'll kind of put it out there, but you'll pull back at every turn. I think there's really only one option, and that's this last one, that we treat it as our destiny, that this is what we are going to build together. We're gonna do it with the people in this room and we're gonna invite every single person that works for Rite Aid to be a part of our new destiny that is nothing short of completely transforming our company. It is, and then we own it and then we're responsible for it and then we get excited about it. Now who's committed to this being a destiny for Rite Aid? Okay, if you're committed to being a destiny, I want you to stand up. Stand up. Is even Region 12 standing? Y'all are like, we only have 11 regions. You grow the way I think you're gonna grow, there's gonna be a 12 and a 13 and a 14, right? So if you're committed to this, say thrive. Thrive. Bigger, thrive. All right, so Nick, you got the music cued. I think now after this, all of this talking and all of this vision, we wanna go back with some energy. And so I think it's now time to celebrate. I was gonna have you high five 20 people, but you can't do that because we can't touch each other's hands. So we're just gonna kiss them full on the mouth. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so I want you to get 20 elbow pumps Cue the mu music on three, three, two, one, let's celebrate!
you take that back, you're going to be unstoppable. Thank you all.